Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we are back with another exciting episode of Panzercore. Let's go ahead and invade England, shall we? I think that sounds like a fun idea. What could possibly go wrong, right? <laughs> okay, so um, the first thing we're going to need to do is scout out the channel to make sure that we're uh, not going to be running into any surprises like submarines and battleships. So let's get... Hmm. I like having the submarines moving up on those guys, but... There we go. That's what I'm looking for, I guess. Are you... Oh, you're a cruiser. Well, let's back you off. Make sure we get our destroyer screen up. We definitely don't want... Um, to be hitting battleships with cruisers. Well, no, we want to be hitting battleships with cruisers. We don't want to be hitting uh, submarines with cruisers. That's a surefire way to wind up with a sunk ship. Uh, actually, no, we're going to move you back because we need to scout out this area for our landing. Oh, what the heck is that? A radar tower. Good to know. Let's see if we can overload this destroyer. It looks like we might be able to. Beautiful. Alright. And, let's see here. We're not really going to be pushing... Well, no, we won't, won't be pushing in this direction. Ah, yeah. We'll move the Schnellboot down there. And keep these guys coming along. And make sure... Hello, cruisers! Yeah, not so tough, are ya? Uh, we got no aircraft up in here. So let's, shall we, get our paratroopers on the go. Oh, I like this. We've got tons of room. Uh, you know, I know the 110s are good against submarines. Very good against submarines, it would appear. Oh, radar stations. Blast. Those are going to be a bit annoying for aerial invasions. Uh, what else do we want? Well, we got the bombers. We might as well be putting them to good use. Can we get into the radar station? We can. It doesn't appear bombing a radar station does much. Bit of a shock. And what else? We got our Stuka. He's not really in range of anything, but we'll get him in range of something. And we'll make sure he's properly protected by some fighters. We can do that for fighter cover for both those guys. Get this Schnell boat moving. And now, for the actual invasion. Now, the thing is, obviously, I don't want to be moving my troops anywhere near uh, the Royal Navy. But, unsurprisingly, it looks like they've got everything pretty much on lockdown. So, we'll move these guys along so that the fleet up here still screens them. And there's, well, I guess there's a fairly adequate screen going on here. But uh, I am worried about that heavy cruiser squadron right there. Those guys could prove to be just a little annoying. Still, not going to be able to sink all of our troops, right? Good, and then we've got just a little force over here that I'm going to leave there, except of course... Oh, well, we can't. We'll get you guys uh, into ships. There we go. We'll leave these guys here just while we sort this stuff out. Because uh, it could be fairly concerning to move our transports. And I think that's going to be everybody except for them. So let's go ahead and hit the next turn. Yes, this is indeed what I was concerned about. 
Looks like we lost some infantry already. That's okay. Well, I mean, it's not okay, but we'll have to deal with it. Good evade. Not so good, but, uh, you know, we're not going to win them all. Oh, come on. Come on, submarines. Keep it together. Yeah, suck on that bomber. I'm glad they hit the Schnell boot. Not glad that they're hitting my Fulschenjägers. Not at all. It's my own fault for putting them too far up. But uh, hey, since we already lost an infantry, we can get some replacement Fulschenjägers in fairly effectively. Still a little bit nervous about this mission, not gonna lie. Can we finish that guy off? If we get lucky, <laughs> All right, well, we'll send these guys up to screen there. Um, yes, that is artillery in a landing craft, thank you. Hold together. Is that? No. No, what I want to do is this. And uh, we could maneuver the Schnell boot up here. And they actually do some, some fairly decent damage to that destroyer. I'm impressed. Uh, let's... Well, yeah, let's hammer the big guns. Not gonna retreat, huh? Ballsy move. Alright, well, we can start getting... Well, huh. Let's keep moving the ships. <laughs> there we go. We can move these guys up. And is that my... Yeah, it is. My god, that phone vibrating was loud. Um... Let's see... What's gonna be the best thing? Well, we gotta get these guys up. I'm thinking somewhere over here. We can just have that guy protecting, which is good. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Might as well strategically blom, blom... Yes, strategically blom those destroyers. Alright, we can get our Stuka in. Do a little bit of dive bombing, because that's always fun. We'll get our cruiser up here, just to try and do some damage to this battleship. And then I think we can finish off these destroyers with our destroyers. Or maybe not. We can finish that guy off, right? No? You've got to be freaking kidding me! Uh, well, that's my Mesher Smith. Well, we need some fighter cover up here. Take that, Hurricane. Uh, ba -ba -ba, we got this guy. We can't help there, but he can certainly help here. Come on, hit that radar station. Yeah, it really doesn't look like strategic bombers do anything against radar stations, which is unfortunate. But, it's, uh, what we're just going to have to deal with. So let's be brave, landing forces. Uh... 
I do feel bad for these men. It's uh, not going to be an easy time. Nothing we can really do there, and leaving that bomber there is definitely not a good idea. I don't have too many options when it comes to taking care of that guy. Can we move you up and get you there, and then maybe, just maybe... Yay! That's one less destroyer to have to worry about. Alright, well we'll get these guys over a bit more to the west here. Because we're punching a hole through the Royal Navy here. Which will hopefully mean we can get these guys across quick, get them landed, and then start the push. Um, and I think it's also about time to stop being worried about those bombers and just realize we are going to be taking losses. Once we get a town in England, though, we will be able... What are you? No, I'm not going to land with artillery first. I'm going to get the Pioneers and the Infantry in first. That makes a heck of a lot more sense. Alright. And at least they're focusing fire on units. Which I guess is a good thing. <clears throat> Shocked ya. Uh, because we'll at least be able to land with some units at full strength. So, that is a good thing. Oh, come on, destroyers, do your job. You see what I mean about not wanting to, uh, get hit? Get your Stukas hit with fighter aircraft? If I had the time in this mission, like if this mission was a long mission, it would be very nice to fight a Battle of Britain style thing. But I don't think that that's going to be a possibility. Still, we can start getting our troops close to landing here. And your infantry, so we definitely want to get you on the beach. Um, there their ships are. Can we get you into position? No. And I... Well... That does seem suicidal, doesn't it? Let's get you in. And at least get some repairs and re resupply going on. Because our fleet desperately needs it. There we go, we got troops on British soil. Exciting stuff. I wish we didn't have um, a freaking tank there, but you know, you can't win them all. And I think I need to stop using my strategic bombers like tactical bombers, and instead use them like strategic bombers. That's okay. Those battleships are far more dangerous against our landing forces than they are way out here in the middle of nowhere. Now we just gotta hammer down all the Spitfires. We got Initiative 1, which is good. I'm not... I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure what Initiative does. But... Having one seems like it would be a good thing. All right. Uh, can we get? Yes, we can. Take that, submarines. And we got you. I don't necessarily want to do that. It <laughs> really didn't turn out well for us, but hey. This is a whole new experience for me, so I'm not quite sure what to make of it. 
Actually, no. Let's see. Can we finish that guy off? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, we can. All right. So, the hole I punched in the Royal Navy is kind of non-existent. And the Royal Air Force is certainly making up for it. And it would be stupid to land there, but we can try and get ourselves in this direction. And get this guy. Well, we might as well do some scouting. How's the situation looking? Infantry everywhere. Not surprising. Oh, come on. You're kidding. There we go. Okay, good. Whew! We can get you pulled back now. Just to do some thinning. And we got troops on the ground. Not enough. But we do have some. How are our losses looking? We've already lost four units. I know one of them is some Falschmjägers. So we'll go ahead and put those guys there. Right on the airfield so they can hop in some transports later. And uh, I'm not going to worry about replacing too many other losses at the moment because it's, uh, it's still a bit dangerous. We don't have good landing zones set. I wish we could just attack that, but uh, not going to happen. We'll set you there you there one two good um i guess we can put you up you up and if we do something like that you up and that'll be three more we can get on all those guys are ready to go uh, let's see what's the next unit and we can just move some ships around which might not be a bad idea Hopefully protect the transports from that destroyer from coming down. And what do we got? We got you to move, but I don't think I want to necessarily move you. So there we go. Next turn. Only two? Come on! Well, that does suck. Two was probably enough to do some serious damage. You're a strategic bomber, correct? Yeah, a JU-88. Good. Let's see if we can do some damage there. We'll move you there. Let's see if we can do some damage. That's not as bad of an idea as I thought it would be, but let's see if we can't take care of this radar station and start opening up the landing zone just a little bit. We'll get you moved, too, so we can get other troops landed. There we go. Well, it's not the best place for an anti-tank weapon, but it'll have to do. Um, that's looking like it. We should probably send you home for some repairs. In the meantime... Oh, can we not? Ah, crap. Yeah, that was a poor decision. Should have probably sent the bomber there, and now it'll be a whole other turn for the Falschmjager to get on airplanes. Which really is where I need them. Heavy fighter doing some good damage. I like it. Get you move down. And let's see what's up here. Not going to be able to get our submarine up there. That's fine. Take care of the last of that guy. And then we can start hitting these radar stations from the shore. And I know there's going to be more units up around there. Naval units to be exact. Let's send that destroyer back. We might as well send that guy out west because we don't really know what's going on um, ship-wise there. 
Might as well capture an airfield and do some good damage to some radar installations while we can. Alright, well, the tide is starting to turn in our direction. I like it. We might as well get you in. Oh, yeah, we definitely want you to, <laughs> to mitigate any losses. Bring you down and show that destroyers what what so we'll take even less losses there which is good um might as well repair you and repair you i don't necessarily like repairing naval units but sometimes you just don't have a choice what do we got here panzers stug yeah hmm well we'll put them in the middle here get a second wave going because i think those guys will be uh oh two infantry and a tank okay that's not bad and, yeah, sadly, can we actually walk you? Well, a couple of turns. Very ineffectively managing those guys, that's for sure. Get you guys around. Because we'll move off the beaches, and hopefully... We'll be able to keep our artillery alive. Those guys are going to be pretty important. Oh, come on. Perfect. And having an airfield here that's our own is going to be a super duper helpful for, you know, keeping our air force in the air and not losing them. I guess that's the other thing we're missing is a Stuka. So I'll buy one of those next turn. Damn. I'll be honest, I'm not even sure what hit that piece of artillery. No return fire, guys? Oh, I guess you kind of hit them. Not as much as I would have hoped, mind you, but... Get you guys in. That is some serious losses we took there, and I should have done that. that and now we have a port I am going to silence my phone should have done that before and I do apologize there we go now let's see we gotta get this guy moving to do that and at least that's even. Let's move you there and start taking on that radar installation. Well, we continue to bomb the cities. Rather ineffectually, I might add. Let's send these guys back so they can fill up their fuel tanks. Especially that guy. That was getting close. That's the end of that. No damage done there. That's a bit annoying. Still. Uh, take that. Mmm. That's some serious losses. Might as well concentrate on clearing the beach, I think. What else can we do? Yeah, we'll move those guys up, and then that should be enough to get the rest of these guys in. Hopefully we can knock that out. Oh, well, I guess... Nope, we can't. I was hoping we could do a uh, an actual seaborne attack. Doesn't look very likely today. Hmm... Probably should have shelled that instead. Nothing. Boo to that. Slowly working that radar station down. Thank you. Um, let's just make sure we've got no more contacts there. 
We'll send our Fulshamiegers over here to knock out that radar installation. What else do we want to do? We definitely want to replace those guys' losses. Send you there for a flight in a bit. Um, might as well send, actually, because I know that there's a, a large British ship up there. So we might as well use our U-boats to attempt to engage that guy. And then I think well, that'll be it. We'll move you there, and we will move you to support that guy, because he is fairly damaged. Next turn. I think it's fairly obvious um, this won't be a decisive campaign. And I'm not even sure if we're going to actually win this. I don't have too many turns left, and we've only taken one objective. So, yeah. Things are looking a little hairy. Still, that took care of that guy. And let's see if we can't do some scouting. Wow. Armored trains. Wonderful. Exactly what I wanted to see. Alright, well, we'll send you over there. And now we might as well send our Air Force out to see if we can't start engaging some of their aircraft. It doesn't look like there's much. I imagine probably up north. Oh, oh well, that's artillery, not any aircraft. So that's not too bad. Uh, you are going to need a resupply. And we might as well send you to resupply too. That does it for that radar installation, which is good news. Uh, let's see here. Can we get... Okay, perfect. So we'll move you like that. You need to replace your losses. You can get on the move. And you two guys can take care of that. Oh, Pioneer is perfect thing to use to attack radar installations. Let's get you moving. And with that taken care of, let's go ship hunting. Which is something I do enjoy doing. Alright, might as well start attacking. Although this is not an objective city, we don't need to take it. So I don't know why I am taking it, if I'm honest. I don't have the time to take, you know, cities that aren't objectives. Ah, uh, that guy is an objective, though. That's going to be tough to get to. Can we get you in? We can. Perfect. Lovely. Uh, no. We need to clear that. We also need to... Well, yeah, we'll clear that. I was hoping that would be clearing it. There we go. Cleared. Now we can get you guys off the beaches and headed west to start taking this city. Uh, well, we might as well launch an attack there. Excellent. Earning an Iron Cross is always a good thing. Took them out. I like it. Because now we can move you in and then get everybody here on the ground. Which I imagine is where infantry would rather be when they're fighting. Let's get you on planes and get you started over. And now that we've got a base of operations here in Dover, we can start replacing some of the losses we took. So I know we've lost at least one unit of infantry. Oh balls. Alright, well, we'll put you there, and I know we lost a unit of artillery, so we'll put you there, and then we can just shuttle those guys over right quick without taking too many losses, I believe. We should be able to finish that guy off. Perfect. Yep, 
Now it says that the destroyers are at risk of getting damaged. But um, that would confuse the crap out of me. If uh, infantry could take on destroyers. Reminds me a bit of Civilization. The older civs, where spearmen would defeat nuclear-powered submarines because RNG. I said I was worried about London uh, having an awful lot of artillery around. Well, that's a big anti-aircraft gun. Let's bring you guys back. And interestingly, wow, that was a lot of damage we took from those Spitfires. Damn superior dogfighters. Hey, Iron Cross first class, well done. Fifth, I am impressed. What's also interesting is your strategic bombers apparently um, expend ammunition uh, as if, you know, well, I mean, in defense, firing their machine guns is the same ammunition they expend while they're dropping bombs. So that's that's something that I wasn't quite expecting. Uh, let's see. What I'd want to do is this. Get my Panzer IVs up to go against the Matildas. Whoo! Those Matildas are quite the... Uh, Quite the anti-tank weapon that I shouldn't have continued that assault with, but I did. Um, I guess that might not be a bad idea. How do you miss a target that big? We'll pull you back, and we'll capture that city just for the renown, and then I guess really what we need to do is just start pushing in on London here. So, we'll get these guys on the go. And let's see what we can do about taking Rochester here. If I hadn't been so aggressive with my movements, we would have that in the bag. But every now and then I forget to be smart about the way I move things. So, you know, I do apologize. Such is life. We can send you up there, we can send you there, and I think we shouldn't have any problems taking Southampton, which is an objective city. Again, too aggressive with my movements. Uh, as I was talking about it, I was too aggressive with it, so... What can you do? My god, these guys are holding on. There we go! Well, nobody will be taking that city next turn. That, well, I will be, but no British units will be able to resupply or reinforce that location. They're being nicely surrounded. Um... Let's see, is that gonna do anything? Probably not. Uh, well, we might as well... Oh, should have expected that. At least this isn't my bomber unit, so... I'm only making slightly stupid maneuvers. Let's get you out of that location, because you are taking an awful lot of damage. And we could probably do to purchase a... another Stuka, because I know we're short on those. Now let's see. Oh, good. We can place, at least we can place air units there. Should have actually checked that out with um, paratroopers now that I think about it. Well, let's get you guys in boats. And get you guys across. I'd rather not continue beating up on each other like this. Trading one hit for one hit. Uh, I would have <laughs> preferred to trade a hit for a hit there, though, and that's for sure. Uh, let's get these guys on the move. We do need some reinforcements. And... 
Yeah, we were supposed to take that city with the Falsham Jaegers. That plan kind of fell through. Nothing? Come on. I guess I've got my U-boat moving in, so that's not too bad. Yeesh. Are you kidding me? Machine guns took out a stug? Come on. Yes, and let's do the smart thing and maneuver my machine gun, or maneuver my infantry up against machine guns. That's always a good thing to do. Especially when they're dug in in hills. I have no idea how I'm going to take out that train. Jeez. Oof, I don't want to do it. I can't I can't charge my units into uh into fire like that. That just feels wrong. Okay, drop you guys. And let's start with the bombers. your beat. No, we don't! Oh, come on! Are you gonna be any better against him? Not really. Holy crap. Let's get you guys repaired. Uh, there's my Stuka. You should be good against them. One. I was hoping for a bit better. If I'm honest, you definitely can afford a rest. You can afford a resupply. And I guess we need to make sure we secure Bristol here. So let's get on the move, lads. Hmm. What are we going to do with you? We could finish this guy off. So let's do it. And I don't see another way around this. Four for four, that's not bad. All right, well, we've severely harmed that machine gun unit, which is good. Oh, we gotta take that city too, Jesus. Come on. Well, I guess I could start moving some more naval reinforcements up. It's not like we're using our ships much anymore. Yeah, not going to do that. Uh, we need to repair you, and we might as well get you moving. Assist in the assault on that armored train. And... We don't need that city. We do need that city, but it's got anti-aircraft. So let's just waste ammunition on things we don't need to bomb. That sounds like a good idea. All right, next turn. Still think artillery should be able to return fire on artillery. One, come on! All right, well, the uh, machine gunners have retreated, which is good. And the armored tank, or the armored train, is running out of ammunition, which should mean the next assaults... Hey, they surrender! Take that! This is good, we can get in and assault the anti-aircraft guns. Get, um, let's see, what units would be good to push? Well, obviously this guy would be the best to push into a town with. 
So we'll get you up and we'll get you. Oh, the artillery supporting. And charging in on machine guns. My god, it's like we don't know what we're doing. Fuck, five. Jeez. Can't necessarily move in Stukas to take care of that guy, so we'll just keep hitting this stupid tank. Which should be feeling the pain now. It looks like they are. That's good. Um, keep moving, you guys. Are we clear to the airfield? We're clear to the airfield. Wonderful. Holy crap, that is a lot of guns defending that town. Repair. What we got there? Yeah, that's gonna suck. And a machine gun? My god, is that ever gonna suck. We don't need to take that port, though. That's good. Um, might as well get you moving and get you landed. How are we doing for losses? Three. Okay, well, I don't know if we necessarily need any more anti-tank, but what we certainly do need are some more infantry units. And thankfully, we can actually get them on the ground now, which is good. Like so. And we might as well actually get some grenadiers going on as well, because machine guns are fun. Don't let anyone ever tell you differently. Um... But I think, I mean, the amount of armor that the Brits have here doesn't appear to be all that much. We might as well get you in there and help out against the anti-aircraft. Which will at least open some things up. Like bombing, which we're definitely going to need to do. Um, what's like over here? Some infantry. Oh, hello. You're something we need to hit with bombers. And... I guess that's looking like it might be it. Those guys aren't actually protected by any artillery. I mean, they are artillery themselves, but they're little guns. So they shouldn't be too much of a threat. Two-pounder cannons? I'm not worried about those. Um, with the lack of any aircraft, we can work on getting these fighters beaten down. And then we can take... Hold on, that guy did move. So now we can take... Now nah, we might as well finish off the fighter. You're going to need to replace your losses. And that's suicidal. We can move you up there so at least we've got better artillery cover for our units on the front by London. And we might as well attempt to stretch the front line out all the way up across the Thames. And then, you know, try and get in. We'll see if that actually works. Yeah, I don't know why I keep looking, but I keep thinking that, hey, maybe, just maybe, launching destroyers against a port would be a good idea. Take that, sucker, and now let's get all of our ships out. So those planes at least might not be able to damage us, and we might as well start hitting the radar facilities. I think we've got all the ones off the coast, unless there's one down here, but we're not coming up that direction, so we should be okay. And, yeah, we'll leave the Navy. Suicide. Right. Next turn! Come on, quit picking on the Stukas. All right. Oh, you surrendered? That sucks. Well, at least it won't take much to get you back. 
All right. Let's see what's going on. Let's move you there. And let's get our fighters in. Come on. Surrender! You're not gonna surrender, are you? No. Well, then let's get our Stuka back to that airfield where it's gonna be nice and safe. And we can move you up while we move you back. You could probably do to me move back as well. And then we can get you in. Take care of that artillery piece. Right. Now, this. It's going to be tricky. Um, we can get you up. We shouldn't take too much damage from those guys. Beautiful. All right. First class. I like it. Uh, we need to resupply you. We might as well start pushing in and taking some land from the Brits. get you up and get you guys moving too. Uh, I definitely want to repair you guys and we'll just start driving you up, getting you ready to hit London. That's suicidal too. I don't like suicidal. Neutralize him, come on, do some sort of damage to him. That should help. Exhausted the ammunition there. Didn't help nearly enough. Uh, let's also start moving our armor. You should probably move away from a town. And, well, we'll get you up like that. It doesn't appear as if infantry is all that keen on assaulting tanks. Can't say that I blame them. And I think that's going to be it. I wonder, can we get you in? And can we get you helping? Oh my god, I should have done this a long time ago. And that is a battleship, right? Good. Battleships are definitely what you want to assist you in taking cities, big guns, floating artillery, good things like that. Well, I'm taking a look at the time, and I'm seeing that it's almost an hour into this episode. Well, just over 45 minutes, in fact. So I think this is going to be a good place to leave it for today. Uh, when we come back tomorrow, we'll finish off the last nine turns and see if we can actually conquer England. Um... We do have one objective city. It looks like we're getting a good push in on London. Uh, Bristol here might not be that much of an issue. My concern is obviously Oxford and Ipswich. I don't really have the forces in position to take them. Let's see. And we're only really short one. So, yeah, that could be, could be a bit dangerous. What do I want? I, I should buy my replacements now while I'm in the thick of things. And honestly, I think over here, some kind of infantry would be a good idea. Or maybe, no, I know exactly what we need over there. They're expensive, but gosh, do I love them. Big old cannons coming to help out. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today. Thumbs up if you have enjoyed this episode. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching.